Hi everybody and welcome to my Cluster the Engine modeling tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you a few pretty nice tricks uh, how can we use Cluster as almost perfect modeling stuff uh, in case we want to get uh, an object like this pillow for example and some bags and others and uh, we will see the Cluster there it's really nice tool and uh, it's not so a problem that it's not so re um, so solid uh, simulator like others very specific tools for example Marvel's designer or, or others yes Cluster there is pretty old and it's uh, it was a part of Mocha module and uh, we have it really many years but it can be still very, very useful in a few cases you will see and it has few advantages uh, because in case you want to model this object by standard modeling tools you will get a bit wrong UV mesh and your wrong UV mesh means uh, incorrectly incorrectly uh, texture projection and problems on these parts for example and pressure flow and others in case you will use uh, Cothella you will always you can uh, you you will always get really correctly UV mesh and correctly uh, texture flow and the result will look almost perfect nobody says that uh, you cannot adjust uh, the shape of your model by standard modeling tools it's up to you but the main object will be generated always with Clotilde. Okay, this one example is first of my examples. You can see the mesh here. Oh, sorry. And okay, it's pretty simple object. You can change the camera. And you can see it's placed to the corner of my sofa. And I think it looks pretty correctly. And here's the second example. It's the back. Okay, it's much more complicated object, I think. And again, this object has been generated by Clotilde and generally. Uh, I haven't used modeling tools for this. And you can see it has almost perfect texture flow. Uh, it's generated by this uh, very simple shader. And uh, the reason is that uh, the UV mesh is really perfect and almost. Uh, and almost perfect. Uh, and again, the UV mesh was uh, generated because we have used pretty simple object. We have, we can, we will use a uh, simple parametric object and we will default them by cluster the engine. It's very important to say. Uh, we can check the UV mesh. Is here, and you can see it's correctly and nice and very easy. I will show you almost everything from the start, from prepping of our object, from basic Clotilde using, of uh, adjusting, again with Clotilde, uh, we, will show, we will use more steps. It's pretty nice trick, we can split up to the process to few steps and I will show you how can we uh, use few uh, very simple tricks uh, and how can we get this nice UV mesh that's correctly for texture projection and correctly look of our object. Okay, that's all. I hope you will like the tutorial and go to the first really uh, learning part.